Yeah, the problem is optimal merge pattern. Again, this problem can be solved using greedy method. And if we know how to solve this problem, we can also understand Huffman coding. So let us talk about this one. Before knowing what is optimal merge pattern, first of all, we should understand merging. Let us quickly understand merging. See, if I have a list A and B with some set of elements, if I have two sorted list, then I have to combine them and get a third sorted list. Two sorted lists are there. I have to combine them. So the process is simple. What we do is we compare the first element of each, whichever is smaller, we write down that and then we'll move to the next element and compare these two and five is smaller, we write that. Eight is smaller. Nine is smaller. Eleven. Then 12 is a smaller, then 16, then 20. So quickly I have shown you the elements are compared one by one, right? So one one element from each side is compared, whichever is smaller that is written here and we get a single sorted list. So merging can be done only on sorted list. How much time it has taken for merging? If I say this is M and this is N, then the total time is m plus n if we count in terms of elements four elements four elements and how many i got eight elements so the total time taken depends on the sizes of the list now let us extend the problem what happens if i have more than two lists let us look at it now here i have four lists given and their sizes are given i have not taken the elements i am saying that this list is having six elements and this is having five elements and so on i have to merge these four lists i can merge them together also but that will be called as four way merging or m way merging no i want to follow two way merging so at a time i want to merge only two lists so let us see how merging can be done i'll take the list six five two three i'll merge these two first so the new list what i get will be having 11 elements then this one with this one so 11 plus 2 i'll be having 13 elements in this list then 13 and 3 i'll be having 16 elements so final list altogether combined will be giving a 16 element list now you can see that at a time i am merging two list but what is the total time spent in merging total cost See, first I have merged 11 elements, so this is 11, plus then I have 11, merged 11 plus 2, so 13 elements, then 16. So I did not get this 16 element at once, it was in stages, so total amount of merging done is this one. So this is how much 40. Now, is there any other way I can merge? Let us try. A, B. C and D. So this is 6, 5, 2, 3. I'll merge these two, 11. I'll merge these two, 5. Then I merge these two, 16. Yeah, I have selected a different pair every time. So what is the answer? Total cost is how much? 11 plus 5 plus 16. Two. Total cost is 32. Is there any other way? Let me try. There may be many possibilities of merging, but I'll try one more. Now I'll merge from that side. First I'll merge these two. So I got 5. Then I merge these two, 10. Then I merge these two, 16. So total cost is how much? 16 plus 10 plus 5. 20, 31. Oh. I am getting still less than that. So is there any other method by which I can get less than 31? I don't think so. See if you see the different patterns, these are the patterns, one pattern, second and third pattern. Out of these three patterns, in this one I am always selecting two smaller lists for merging. That's why I got the minimum result. So now from this observation we can say that the greedy method that we should follow is always we should merge a pair of small size list to get the best result. Yes, so we have the greedy method now. 
we got the approach for solving this problem. We understood that always you select two small size list, combine them, then total merging time will be reduced. If you follow like this, then the time was 40 and this was 32 and there is 31. So that is best one. All right. So we'll take one problem and solve that one. Here is an example problem for optimal merge pattern. I have a five files, x1, x2, x3, 2, x5 are files, file names. And these are the sizes, the number of elements in each file. Now we will follow greedy approach for solving this one. We have to find out a pattern in which the total cost of merging is minimized. So let us follow greedy method. Greedy method says that you should always select a smaller pair of files for merging. So they are not arranged in the increasing order of their sizes. I will take them in increasing order of their sizes. I have taken those files in the increasing order of their sizes. Now let us follow optimal merge pattern. So we should select a smaller pair of files and merge them. 5 and 10. So I'll merge these two. I'll get a new file of size 15. Then what are the files I have? I have a new file of size 15, 20, 30, 30. Now which one is smaller? I should select the pair 15 and 20. These two are smaller. So I should select these two and merge them. So this is 35. 15 plus 20, 35. So after merging these two, I will be getting 35 elements here. Now what are the list I have? 35, 30, 30. So I should select a pair of minimum size list or least size list. These two. Merge these two. It is 60. Now what are the list remaining? 35 and 60. Combine these two and form a list that is 95. Now let us find out what is the total cost of merging. See first these two files are merged the cost was 15 and when these are merged 35 so I should take the sizes in these circular nodes. So the sizes are 15 plus 35 plus 95 plus 60. This 2 not 5. So the total cost of merging these files by following a optimal pattern is 205. I have added all these internal nodes and I got that result. Even what I can do is, how I can know the cost is, this 5, how many times it is merged? 1 time, 2 time, 3 time. So the number of time it is merged with the files is, depends on the distance. So let us call this as a distance. So distance is how much? 1, 2, 3. So 3 times what 5 plus 1, 2, 3, 3 times 10, 3 times 10 plus 1, 2, 2 times 20 plus 1, 2, 2 times 30 plus 1, 2, so 2 times 30. So I have taken their distances and their sizes. Even this total will also be 205. If you multiply and add all these things, it will be 205. So how you can know the total cost of merging either by adding the sizes of internal nodes or these nodes, external nodes, I can say external nodes with their distances. So here I can say it's like a formula distance of each node di with the size of each node xi. So this gives the total cost of merging for all these files by using optimal merge pattern. That's all about optimal merge pattern. The problem is very simple, but this is used by Huffman coding. So the next video will be about Huffman coding.